Hey guys, I thought I would jump on here to share a quick shopping vlog. I was able to go to Melbourne just recently for a short trip and I made a really quick run around at some of these luxury shops. The first stop was the Purse Affair and the first bag that I'm trying out here is the Hermes Victoria bag. I've always been so curious about this bag and I was so surprised to see that there was one in store for me to try on. I've always heard that it's a little bit heavy and it is true, I felt that it was quite heavy while it was empty so I'm going to take it off my wish list. The next bag that I'm trying on is the Givenchy Nightingale in the micro size in this beautiful baby pink with silver hardware. This bag has been on my wish list for many years now and I was so thrilled to find it in such amazing condition at the Percy Fair. I did talk about this as a really great alternative to the Neverfull BB. I'm, I'm trying to be good in terms of spending, I don't know, I'm just watching it at the moment. Maybe the price will come down but at the same time, um, I did find another bag that has really piqued my interest. So. I'm kind of just thinking about this bag for now. And this bag I'm trying on is the Dior Mini de Florette. It is not a current bag from Dior. Floor from Floor in the City purchased this pre-loved and I absolutely loved her review on it. I was feeling really positive about this bag and super tempted as well. It turns out that I don't think this bag is suitable for me. I love the puffiness and the softness of the bag. It goes very much with the pillowy trend, but turns out that the strap drop is too long for me. Here I'm trying on the Hermes Gypsy Air. Again, being so curious about this bag. Jessie from Jessie Style has one in like a granny apple green and I kind of like the look of the bag but when I tried it on, yeah, I, I just don't think it's for me. The strap is too long and I know that the um, opening and closure is pretty fussy as well. This bag, I had no plans on trying on but it was just sitting on the shelf and I thought it looks so amazing. It's like a seasonal Louis Vuitton bag. Um, it's got a monogram canvas with very patina vachetta already. It was such a functional bag. It was a camera style bag with a front pocket and it was going for about 1200 Australian dollars. I was tempted but I resisted. And I was so lucky to be able to try on this Hermes Kelly 25 in swift leather. I am not sure what the colour is. It might be rose sakura and oh my gosh it is so so delicious. I would not mind adding an Hermes bag in swift leather to my collection. Um, is it going to be a Kelly in return style? I mean I don't know it's We'll have to see, like the price points are just really high. I'm kind of at purse piece with my Hermes bags right now and it totally went with my shoes and my hat and my phone. Oh, so cute. The YSL collage bag, it's kind of gone on and off my wish list intimately. The thing with the collage bag for me is that the strap drop is too long. Um, but I don't know, given that the strap is detachable, I kind of do like its features in terms of its size, it's got different compartments and it also has a top handle. So kind of a bag that always is just sitting on my wish list, but really I do have a lot of bags that can serve the same function. And I deliberately went over to Foreign Apache because there is a store in Melbourne and I've been so curious about Foreign Apache, especially their canvas. I think their blue canvas is so pretty and I just really wanted to go have a look and feel of it in person and I'm so impressed with it. This one is called the Dream 21 I believe and there is also a Dream 19 and the numbers indicate the length of the bag at the base. This is very much like a Boston style bag. I did feel that canvas was probably a bit stiff and it made this bag really bulky to wear crossbody. But yes, I still am totally in love with Foy Lepage canvas. This one is their mini battle tote. I think it's the size 19 or size 17. I'll put it on screen. Uh, and I did talk about it as one of the alternatives to the Neverfull BB. Um, it is a very cute bag, but it has three compartments and most of it is actually open. There's only one tiny zipped compartment. And given how shallow the bag was, yeah, I'm not comfortable with how secure it is but definitely a very cute bag. And then here I got to try on some of the other battle totes as well. And some of them are open totes and some of them are zipper totes. And oh my gosh, I'll be honest, I am a big fan of Foreign Apart at the moment. I am keen on getting one of their bags. And this is the one that I'm super keen on. This is their mini backpack. It is the Backup 21. Now during this trip, I was carrying my Loewe Fusta 25 and I was carrying it crossbody. It is a decent sized bag and I was feeling its weight on my shoulder, which kind of made me think that I probably would benefit from a backpack. And mm, given my current crush on Foreign Apache, I don't know, I, I am very, very keen on this bag. It is not priced too bad as well, which really surprised me. It is mostly leather with a little bit of the Foy Lepage classic blue canvas. Um, it's priced about $24.50 Australian dollars. And what about some beautiful Fendi eye candy over here? Why not? It is Christmas. 
I jumped over to Louis Vuitton as well to specifically try on AQ bags. I've been very curious about the Louis Vuitton soft trunk uh, and she has impressed me indeed in person. The strap is too long for me so I would probably use this bag as a shoulder bag only just with the shorter top handle. I think if I carry this bag crossbody I would be worried about all that hardware on the corners getting bumped up again, walls and stuff like that. And the other bag that I've been very curious about is the Louis Vuitton On The Go East West. I first saw this bag on Candy's Sweet Love For LV's channel and I was mm, I was so smitten because it had a zipper compartment in the middle with two large pockets on either side of the bag. But when I saw the bag in person, it's actually too small for me. So I'm glad to have seen it and now my curiosity is satisfied. So this bag is not for me. And as I was walking on the streets, I couldn't help but wonder what was in this bag.